hi guys, me again. Um, so I have spent all day in the garden today and it's been absolutely amazing. I've um, been moving the polytunnel. But what I'm going to do now is plant some dry peas. So I've got the polytunnel moved and nearly ready and it's just a... It's made me feel like I want to start planting and it's way, way too early. Um, but yeah, just to uh, um, calm me down a bit and remember it's still January, um, I'm going to be planting some of these dry peas. I'm going to turn the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. So I have my little pot, I think, I don't know, I think maybe there was some fruit or something came in this strawberries or something and I've just filled it with multi-purpose compost that's what they look like <laughs> and these are going to be for just for pea shoots they're not going to be um, for growing into peas I'm just really chuffed now I've got my polytunnel done and I've dug it into the ground um, that hopefully now that I've buried the cover it should give it a bit more protection from the wind it shouldn't blow off hopefully um, it's got the fence we've put it in a corner so it's got two fences now protecting it but the side it was damaged before is still open so I might um, I might put like some kind of uh, screen up or something. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, I can um, I can put stuff in there. Um, so my window sills don't look um, so full. And there we go. I'm just gonna fill it with peas like that and push them down now. I didn't bring any extra compost up with me, so I'm just going to have to shove these a bit further down. I think the the rule is that you're meant to um, plant seeds one and a half times their side size, and so the planting depth. So if your seed is one centimetre long, you should bury it 1.5 centimetres down. I don't do that. Yes. Now then, peas rot really, really quickly. So this is a little bit of damp compost and it's mixed with a little bit of dry compost. Um, so I'm going to put a tiny, tiny bit of water in here now and just leave it and don't water it again. Um, because uh, you know the soil stays damp for a long time there's no roots there at the moment to suck up all the water and plus it's quite cold so the um, the compost doesn't dry out as quick at the moment yeah and there we go simple as so I'm just going to put these in my kitchen window now with or all my other stuff, my electric propagators and oh did I show you my onions? Let me show you my onions. Look at these babies. So B champ Bedfordshire champion of these? Um I can't remember. But yeah, they're growing well. I've got another little pot there as well. Look like a little blaze of grass. Yes, yeah, so um, hopefully in a couple of weeks, maybe a month, I'll have some pea shoots to um, pick. Pea shoots are absolutely gorgeous. I love them. Mixed with a little bit of salad or as a garnish. My little boy just comes in and picks them off the plants. He loves them. Yes, yeah, so get growing your dried peas for some nice pea shoots. And that's it, just a short video today, so um, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye!